Okay, officially, I am making this video for my aunt because we've all been sick around here. Sinuses, allergies, whatnot. And the nose Frida, it's a great idea, except if you can't suck on it, then it's not gonna work very well. And when mom's sick and babies are sick and everybody else is sick, nobody can breathe to suck the crap out of somebody else's nose, right? It's simple. So what I did, you may laugh if you want, is I made up this little whatever to get the boogers out, get the snot out, basically not suck out the brains. So if you want to do it, that's fine. Go ahead, have fun with it. Be careful with it, um, especially with littler ones. They can't tell you when you're sucking their brains out. And I am in no way, shape, or form a medical professional, so do not think. <laughs> Sorry, I have chemo brain. Think that this is uh, some miraculous something or other, whatever. I don't even know what I'm saying. So here we go. Anyway, here we go. You do need the nose, Frida, though. You can buy these at Walmart, Toys R Us. They're about. 10 15 bucks okay this is what the nose Frida this is what goes in here and this is the part you suck on okay took that off you need a bolt don't ask me why but you need a bolt you need good old everyday electrical tape and some scissors and the last thing you'll need is the extender on for a vacuum. I'm sure you have an old one laying around. I know I do. I don't know why, but I do. Um, obviously, first thing I did was scrub the crap out of it with Clorox wipes. Handy dandy Clorox wipes. Inside and out. I've already done this. And then I also made sure that it fit on the end of my shop vac that I will be using. So, that's what we need. So the first thing I do is I cut some tape about an inch, inch and a half long. Then I cut it in half because you don't want to be tape happy. I do get tape happy sometimes. Okay. And you want to do, I don't know, one, two, three, four. I got about ten pieces ready just in case. All right. First thing you do is you want to cut each side of the thing here because it is made to be like this for your mouth and you really want it more circular well the only way I found that I can make it circular is to cut it and stick that bolt in there and and then we're gonna tape that bolt so it goes in there flush as much as possible we're gonna tape that bolt in there so it um, doesn't have any ear leaks obviously again you don't want to get tape happy crazy but you want to make sure that there are not going to be any leaks at all you also need to make sure that you're taping the bolt onto the little red sucky thing I have no idea so we'll do that real fast here probably not as fast as I would like but it is working mm, I'm a tape happy person you don't have to be all right as long as we got it on there it's gonna stay doesn't have to look pretty because it's not, it's not pretty. So, after that, make sure it's all good and going to stay down on there. You get your thing, your extender, okay? This is going to go on to here. Best way to do this, I have recently been playing and found, is obviously some more tape. So, 
we are going to put, wait a minute, it's a half a piece of the half. So we're going to put that onto there. Okay. And we're going to put this piece over here. Basically, we're going to make just a small little hole by the end. see that hole see a little bit of a hole okay then we're gonna stick this right here on top and we are gonna tape it on there too obviously so I'm sure other people will come up with their own ideas on a better way to do this have fun I have tried many different ways and this is the best way I've found. I like to tape it starting from the top of it, squishing it down in there, and then going around to the side. And I need more tape. doing that all the way around make sure you hold it and don't push down in there because you don't want it to fall okay now that we have basic what you're gonna have you want to go ahead and make sure that it is not gonna leak so you want to tape around the bottom Okay, and then you go ahead and just make sure it's not going to leak. So you plug it on in there and turn your back on. No leak. I'm going to go ahead and put another piece of tape just to hold all those little ones down. Alright, then hold on to that really tight again. You don't want it to put push down in there. You put your nose straighter back on. And there my friends, with your shot back, you have the ultimate booger sucker. Now the nose freezer does come with the little things here, but it really probably doesn't matter because you're using the shop vac. Just saying. You just turn it on. You can feel that it's not a lot. Stick it up your nose and you go to town. You can actually feel it coming out. It's amazing.